everyone. My name is Felipe Guajardo. This is Alex George, David Ducasi. Our team is Daft Motors, and today we're going to be talking to you about the Race Engine Optimization Project. Before I go more into depth into this project, I would like to talk to you about the organization we are working with, SAE, the Society of Automotive Engineers. The SAE group at FIU competes in the Formula SAE competition, where students are tasked to build an open-wheel Formula-style race car. We are configuring our engine for optimal performance under the conditions allowed by the competition rules. Some of those limitations include the engine display cannot be more than 610 cc. All air intake has to go through a 20 millimeter uh, restrictor, and we're going to be using 100 octane fuel. Because this is an international competition, we are going to be translating our report into various languages, as well as converting the units to both systems, and finally using as many nonverbal signages as possible. So, our, end, our uh, project is centered around the engine's compression ratio. Now, the compression ratio of an engine is the volume of one of its cylinders at the bottom dead center portion of its stroke, divided by the volume of one of the cylinders at top dead center. And it is important because the compression ratio of an auto cycle engine is fundamentally tied to that engine's thermodynamic efficiency. The higher your compression ratio, the higher your efficiency, and the more of your fuel becomes power, and the less of, it, less of it is turned into waste heat. Now, the reason we are focusing on this attribute of the engine is because at the competition, we're going to be allowed to use 100 octane racing fuel, and this fuel will tolerate a higher compression ratio as compared to the 87 or 93 octane fuels you can get at commercial fuel pumps um, before it goes into, say, pre-ignition or detonation that could damage any components of your engine. Now, this situation leaves the potential for increased uh, power and fuel economy as compared to the stock engines that most of the teams adapt for use in their cars. So, to give you a basic idea of what we plan to do, we're going to take our engine, which is a Honda CB550 four-cylinder motorcycle engine, and we're going to swap out its crankshaft with a, another crankshaft from a larger displacement engine in the same engine family. This is going to slightly increase the length of the stroke, which will bring our displacement up to right underneath that 610 cc displacement limit you just heard about. And it's also going to increase our compression ratio. From there, we'll have to respec all of the internal components because that first change actually brings our compression ratio too high, which would cause damage to our engine. Uh, from there, we bring we respec the components to bring the compression down a little bit to exactly where we want it to be, about 13.5 to 1, and also to maintain the various internal clearances so we don't bend any valves or cause any other damage from having an engine that's not designed. So now I'd like to take a moment to explain the logistics behind our project. Behind me, you'll see the timeline, and as Alex said, we've already selected our motor, the Honda CB550. We've chosen the CB550 for various reasons, among, of which, among which are the fact that it's easily modifiable, it has several, <clears throat> it has several uh, aftermarket parts that are also easily interchangeable, and then at the end of the day, it's cheap. Um, I'd like to also point out a couple of the major tasks uh, both behind us now and still ahead of us. As you'll see, we have the, the re most of the research has already been completed. Most of what we have left now is the actual uh, motor acquisition and the dynamitering as well as the modification process. And you'll see that they overlap because we're going to dyno the, the engine stock, as how, how we first get it, and then as we make our modifications, continue to test it so that we can actually quantify our gains. I'd also like to take a moment and explain the costs that we have and the fact that actually we've been going out there, we've been working with SAE, and we've, they've, through SAE we've actually made partnerships, one of which is the Creative Workshop. The Creative Workshop is a shop that actually helps, uh, mod it actually modifies other cars and manufactures parts. On top of that, they have a dynameter that they're actually letting us to use for free, which is a, saving, which is a cost savings of $500, which represents actually a big, uh, significant cost reduction in our project as we move forward in our goal to develop an, uh, a prototype for our, first and foremost, RSA group, and so, so that our research can then help not only RSA group, but groups around the world. Any questions? Very good. <laughs> uh, you use the word cheap. It's not a good word. Can you use something like cost effective or most economical? In ex most, most economical, I think, works best. <laughs> right. So you also use the word optimization. Uh, yes. I was kind of curious 
what sort of optimization you can do. We're optimizing for the compression, excuse me, we're optimizing the compression ratio for the fuel octane that's available to us. If you were to take, well, discounting some very modern technologies in new cars coming off the lot right now, uh -huh. um, if you were to take an engine uh, from most cars that are on the road today and bring their compression up to 13.5 to 1, they blow up. Sure. Right. Right. This engine actually stock but, runs at 9 to 1. We're right. actually bringing that 9 to 1 to 13.5 to 1, which we're also we've also checked is still okay with the engine that we're working with. So, I, I mean, I understand that aspect. My concern with just the wording is, so you're optimizing it for this specific compression ratio, so what design we're choices optimizing. are you making? To, we're, we're actually optimizing, optimizing it for yeah. the competition. Yeah. Because okay. as, as uh, Alex was saying in, in his part of the presentation, uh, because we're using 100 octane fuel, which isn't what most, right. um, what most people would use in their cars, there's, there's power left on the table. Right. Because we're allowed to raise sure. the compression ratio. Right. It puts us outside the operating conditions that the engineers who designed the sure, sure. engine were thinking of. Further so all of that I agree with. The one thing I don't agree with is uh, the word optimization. Right. So usually optimization is you take 15 different choices and you want to try to find the best design of those 15 different choices. Right. I understand mainly your main choice right now is you're changing compression ratio to fit this octane fuel. Right. So that's one choice matching up the other one. So I'm just curious, the other choices that you're making to fit those two. You see what I mean? Well, it's just the semantics thing about no, that. No, 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 I understand. So but to if me, it seems more like a design problem, right? Well, you are designing an engine to fit a specific compression ratio. Well, right. Let me see if I understand, because yeah. further, there was also it's, a, it's a semantics thing. I don't want to go too far into it. Well, right. Yeah. So yeah. would it be, um, would it help if we were talking about, say, that also the restrictor plate it's going to be in use in the engine actually causes a loss in sure. electric charge density, which effectively lowers your dynamic compression ratio, uh, which is why I'm further bringing it up as high as we are. Right, right. Uh, so you are making design choices. What I'm saying is optimization usually requires an algorithm to make specific choices based on each one of these different okay. designs. Right. So okay. are you guys using a specific algorithm with different choices associated with, say, compression ratio, you know, all of the other, you know, whatever stress is associated with some piston or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Are you doing that or are you just specifically picking a design and trying to meet those? Well, we actually did have several designs that we were uh, incorporating and, and thinking about uh, for the engine um, because that was our goal in the very beginning was uh -huh. to optimize it. Right, right, right. We, we ended up choosing this one, this method, as, but we didn't have a specific algorithm. Okay. And maybe that's, maybe that's the weakness. Sure, no, no. Okay. I don't choice. think it's a weakness. I think it's a terminology problem. That's okay. it. Right. Yeah. Is there, that's all the word the efficiency there? Any of them. Well, Design, whatever you want to use. I just, right when I first saw optimization, I'm assuming you're, you guys are going to talk about some sort of algorithm or some sort of discussion about why you're making the design. I do right. have, we have several spreadsheets we were uh -huh. using um, to play around with various engine parameters okay. to optimize the compression ratio to exactly the point we wanted it to be at. Where okay. We decide, you know, the length of the connecting rod. Perfect. So that's if you do have that, that's fine. I just okay. I didn't see that anywhere. Would you recommend that should be in the presentation? It's kind of. I, it's I would more say we figured. I would say it's, better, it's always a great thing to say. Hey, I'm a designer and I have a bunch of design choices. Here are my design choices. These are the things that I'm doing to try to solve those choices. Right. Okay. I think that's always way better than hey we have you know. Right, and, here's a design. and we right. originally yeah. thought of doing that, but because of the time limitations, oh, no, it, was yeah. one of the, it was one of the sure, first things sure, we took sure. out because we right. wanted to focus as, as primarily as possible on our on what we're actually doing, not yeah. choices that we didn't I completely choose. understand. But yeah, we're not supposed sure. to right. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, you have time. You've got three, four seconds. Minutes. <laughs> four minutes. So you have one minute. <laughs> were we on four minutes or about yeah, four, four and a half? Or how, how, how well, we? according to this, you were about four oh. and a half. But either so we can take another thirty seconds. We'll slide in there with the with the with the choices and say we chose this. I'm not here to give you fifteen seconds. It'd be hard on you for fifteen. No, no, no. That's fine. Yeah. If you start getting into one decision, sure, sure. If you start getting into how one decision was made, it kind of leads into the next one, and then why? Which is great, right? And that's exactly what we're trying to go for. With this sort of stuff. There's a lot of design choices that you're making. Right. We want to hear the ones that you do and the reasoning behind all of that sort of thing. Right? Okay. Yeah. So the question, another question, uh, for 100 octane, do you guys have a source here that you can use? Where there do you is, get 100 yeah, octane? Yeah, pretty standard. Shops. You can go down to Homestead Speedway, I think. Okay. All right. Just making sure. And there are places that they'll actually just ship it to you too. Yeah. That's, oh, not, that's not, <laughs> right. not, not, not the <laughs> most <laughs> cost-effective okay. right. method right. of doing it, but it's available to us, and it's available to anyone around the world. Okay. Yeah. What's the cost of that? Um, roughly, you're looking at about ten dollars a gallon. Yeah, to be honest, okay. bar, it's about ten bucks a gallon, I think. And so to make up that difference, so right now you're at about sixteen hundred, right? 
Right. Are you guys comfortable with that as your design costs? I mean, I know you're working with other partners, but 1600 bucks between three of you guys is a pretty, pretty big amount, right? Yeah, I mean, well, we, we talked ahead of time, and um, I'm working, and Alex has some money put away, and <laughs> <laughs> has some money put away, that we all decided ahead of time that if we couldn't get the, the, the funding for this project, right. that we would be okay yeah, with this. Yeah. At the outset, we, had, we were working closely with SAE, and we thought that we were going to be able to get some sponsorship from them, since they'll, the, the idea is they'll take this engine, they'll use it in next year's car. They're about yeah. to their competition for this year, so it won't be ready in time. Then yeah, store. didn't have but the funding. They lost some of their sponsors, so that ended up not happening. Okay. Right. Well, we do hope. At so the with end of this. with an SAE too, there are some opportunities with FIU and all of that other, you know, student government and all of that too. So I would, it, it's hard because you guys had such a big group. There's probably three or four other groups that are looking for money, but right, a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks can go a long way for you guys. No, it definitely yeah. would. I, uh, what I was trying to what I was trying to say is that we are comfortable with. If, if, if this is what we need to spend on the project, spend that money, we can spend that right. so the project can be completed. Right. Actually, one of the one of the options we were thinking about is at the end of this project, we could sell the motor to SAE, sell, um, <laughs> in order to recoup some of that money, and they and yeah. basically it would be their way of funding us if they have the funding later on, and that would help yeah. us out right. greatly. So, if but if get, not, we if they get a sponsor it. from somewhere else, you can kind of do the old back channels, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't know how legal that is, but sure. <laughs> well, players, yeah, anyway, it's fine. Yeah, they, yeah. Instead of funding us, no, no, no they would fund yeah, us out. I don't think anyone. I don't think IRS is coming down. <laughs> okay, great. But yeah, okay. Any other questions? Um, no, I'm done. <laughs>